Hello everyone, Akash here. The food that really cause hair loss. You need to know about these foods. Maybe that's why you're seeing your hair thinning out. Some of the food that I'm going to highlight in this video. You might think, really for real? Those foods are bad for me? Not only those foods are bad for your hair. Also, I'll tell you exactly why those food causing hair loss to many people. So if you are eating dairy, sugar, refined carb, nuts, swordfish, and greasy food that we call junk food, also carbonated drink and alcohol. So let's dig deeper about this food. So the dairy product. We all know milk has protein. Protein is good for our hair. However, also lots of professionals do agree on. Dairy contains certain amount of fat in it. Basically, the fat increases the testosterone level in our body. So any food that increases testosterone, that can be one of the reasons many people see their hair fall. Also, if you have a dandruff issue, dairy product can increase your hair loss issue. So why sugar cause hair fall? It's very simple. Sugar causes you to have poor blood circulation in your body. Once your circulation affected, it becomes very difficult for your blood to reach all the way up to your hair follicle. Another problem you get with sugar, the nutrition circle in your body that also does not reach your hair follicle properly. So without blood or proper nutrition, there is no chance for your hair follicle to survive for long run. Easy way you could fix this issue, just cut down your sugar intake. If you are addicted to sugar, then try to cut down slowly. Also, the refined food cause hair fall. Food includes breads, cakes, pasta, pizza, or any kind of refined carb. Also, if you think if you're losing hair because of stress, these foods not going to do any favor to you. It more likely increase your hair fall. And these refined food has sugar in it. And you know what sugar will do to your hair. Also, nuts can damage your hair, but you're probably thinking nuts has high protein and healthy fats, which exactly your hair needs. But keep in mind, some people are extremely allergic to nuts, but that's not the case with everyone. Some people are only mildly allergic to the nuts. That means they have a rather delayed reaction to these nuts that often translating into a receding hairline. So it's probably a good idea for you to get tested. Are you allergic to nuts or not? Nuts also contain selenium and consuming large content of selenium can cause hair fall. You must avoid Brazilian nuts, which contain high level of selenium. And if you like swordfish, it is great source of protein. However, it has a high level of mercury and mercury one of the top reason for hair fall. Mercury basically interact with other mineral trace in our body. So if you're eating some other fish with high mercury, you should watch out for. That can lead to hair fall also. We all love greasy yummy food. You may know the scope release an oily substance called the sebum. The sebum provides moisturize to the skin on your skull as well as to your hair. But when you load your body with grease, also the sebum tend to get greasy. When the grease cover your hair follicle, it gets very difficult for your hair to grow. So if you don't want your hair follicle to get clogged, then eat as less greasy food possible. You most likely heard carbonated drinks quite harmful to our health. Carbonated drink basically interact with the insulin in our body and makes it less responsive to sugar. And that leads to increase sugar in our bloodstream. Because of that, your hair follicle don't get good blood circulation. And without good blood circulation, your hair follicle not going to survive. And alcohol not very friendly either. Alcohol basically dehydrate your hair. And if your hair doesn't have enough moisture as it requires, you will see your hair fall off. Also, the study shows smoking can potentially damage your hair follicle and increase your risk of developing hair loss. So try to cut down these foods, most likely prevent your hair loss. If you have any question, you can always ask me in the comment section. If you want to get directly help from me, for your hair loss situation. You could always go on my website akashbishwas.com and talk to me today. Take care.